I have talked ad nauseum about Disney on my channel, and today is no different. <laughs> Most of the time when I talk about Disney, it's either about animation or about the Disney parks, because those are the aspects of Disney that I personally am most familiar with and that I love the most. But there is another huge part of Disney that I've never really talked about, and that is the live action movies. So today I'm going to count down my 10 favorite live action Disney movies. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. This is the second of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, and most likely the best of the sequels. Dead Man's Chest, while not a perfect movie, is a bunch of fun. There's tons of plot holes, maybe some character inconsistencies, but it's a really fun movie. Number nine is the live action Beauty and the Beast. I'm kind of, I have mixed feelings about this whole live action thing that Disney is doing right now. I think sometimes they either come out not so good, like Maleficent, or Little on the Bland side, like Cinderella, but sometimes they can actually be pretty good, like The Jungle Book or Beauty and the Beast. I liked the cast a lot. Singing was okay for the most part, but I thought the movie looked gorgeous and I did appreciate some of the changes that they made. They did kind of cover up some plot holes that the animated version made. This movie is not perfect, but I really did enjoy it and I think it's, it's pretty gosh darn good. Number eight, Hocus Pocus. This one's more of like a guilty pleasure because I admit it's really not the most well-made movie, but like with Pirates 2, it's so much fun and it does carry a lot of nostalgia for me. You cannot beat Bette Midler, okay? She is queen and is so good as Winifred and just there's something so wonderfully campy about this movie and I love camp to death. I mean, a movie can be utter garbage, but if it's really campy and has fun with it, I will like it so much more than a movie that takes itself way too seriously, and you cannot accuse a Pocus Pocus of taking itself way too seriously. It is a very fun movie, a wacky movie, and why did it not come out at Halloween time when it was released? It came out in the summer, which was probably why it flopped when it came out. What were you thinking, <laughs> Disney? Number seven is the live action version of The Jungle Book. Of the live action movies that I have seen, I think The Jungle Book is by far the best. One, it's just a really well-made movie. Technically, it is beautiful. Jon Favreau did such an amazing job with the CG and those animals at points looked photorealistic. Didn't do what Beauty and the Beast did, which was kind of recreate the animated version. The Jungle Book actually took some liberties, made some differences, changed some characters, and kind of made it a little bit better than the animated version. The animated version is still great and I, I love it a lot, but it added some stakes, it made Shere Khan even more scarier, and I enjoyed it a lot. Number six is Into the Woods. I, I know a lot of people just really don't care for it, and that's fine. I mean, it's really for people who like campy, funny, witty musicals, and if they don't, it's not a movie for you. I really wasn't that familiar with the original musical by Stephen Sondheim, but Meryl Streep is bae, and everyone else does a very, very good job in their roles. The movie is a lot of fun, and those songs will get stuck in your head all day because of Sondheim. As you can see, I own it. So I must enjoy it. Number five is The Muppets. I think I'm like a closeted Muppets fan. This movie is so cute, so delightful, so much fun. I had a great time watching it. I really kind of want to own it. I don't know why I don't. I feel like if, if I really took the time and invested more into The Muppets, I feel like I could really become a big fan of The Muppets because their brand of comedy just hits me right 
right in the sweet spot. The movie is just so enjoyable and the characters are funny and the songs are really funny and it's just a really cute, happy, fun, feel-good movie. Number five is Saving Mr. Banks. I feel like this movie is a little underrated. A lot of people don't really talk about it that much, but I think it's really good. I don't think it would be if it weren't for Tom Hanks playing Walt Disney and Emma Thompson playing P.L. Travers. They were amazing, beautiful performances. I liked it that they made Walt a little flawed. <laughs> he wasn't this godlike figure that a lot of Disney fans, myself included, kind of make him out to be. Uh, he had some flaws to him, he's a little pushy, uh, and that's good. I really, really liked that. And they really explored P.L. Travers, who by a lot of accounts was not a likable person. But they made her likable, and uh, they really explored her psyche and why she uh, chose, why she wrote Mary Poppins, and why it was so intensely personal to her. I just really, really enjoyed it, and I actually own it. So yeah, number three is *The Pirates of the Caribbean: The Curse of the Black Pearl*. I think it's pretty much unanimous that the first Pirates of the Caribbean is by far the best. It's what the dead man's chest is. It's a lot of fun, but it's also just a really good, self-contained, tight movie. It's so much fun, but it also hinges on those really fun performances that haven't gotten stale yet. It's a really, really good movie. And I know that once I get a chance, I'm gonna own this one because it's definitely the best of the pirates and a standout in terms of Disney live action. Number two is Mary Poppins. When I think of great live action movies made by Disney, I immediately think of Mary Poppins. It's without a doubt the, their best, probably their best live action movie. It might not be my favorite, but it's their best if that makes any sense. Julie Andrews is amazing as Mary Poppins. This movie is so wonderful, so whimsical, and even though it's not animated, it feels so Disney. It's such a magical, beautiful movie, um, and an undeniable classic that will, I think, always stand the test of time. It's a great movie. And my favorite live action Disney movie is Enchanted. <laughs> it both pokes fun at Disney animation, but but also kind of pays homage to Disney animation at the same time. It's like a loving little nudge <laughs> at Disney animation, and it's uh, it's so much fun. This is another one that I don't own that I know I will someday. It. I feel like I love this one even more than Mary Poppins because of its take on Disney animation. I love Disney animation so much, obviously. And Amy Adams kills it. Like, she just, she is perfect as Giselle. It's just a really fun, delightful, sweet, uh, clever movie. And I like it a lot. So there you guys have it. Those are my favorite Disney live action movies. I love movies and my friend Kevin, who was in one of my videos earlier this year, uh, loves movies even more than I do and he actually does a movie podcast with his friend Sean Patterson called The Old School Movie Club. It's really awesome. They talk about movies, most of the time they're older, uh, that they've never seen. They go see them and they review them uh, from like a non-nostalgic, <laughs> more uh, modern point of view. If you're watching this, you should go listen to their podcast. I will leave a link to their YouTube channel in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please let me know what your favorite live action Disney movies are. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter and Snapchat and Instagram and all those great things. And I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Bye! Mwah. Finale as millennials would say, had to be quaking. There were so many things in it that were amazing and just perfect and it was great. And this whole season was amazing. I just love it so much that today I've tried to channel my inner Khaleesi a little bit, not much. It's the best I can do with what I have, okay people?